Jenny Shen, and I'm a record specialist with the Eugene Police Department. I initially started in patrol. Uh, I always wanted to be a police officer and serve my community and do all those great things. It was a challenge that I really accepted and I knew that I could handle and something that I would really enjoy doing. I love coming to drill. It's kind of a break from um, outside life. I love this uniform. Uh, for me, it represents uh, not just you know like the United States Army and the National Guard, but it's something that's so respectful to me. It just always brought a lot of respect for me. It was just a symbol of strength and freedom. I can tell you my family at first, uh, their support for me being in the Guard and being in law enforcement was really uh, well, that's our daughter, you know, why are you doing that? You know, you should, it's too dangerous, you know. Um, but now they are probably the biggest supporters and they uh, really have a lot of confidence and faith and they know that this is something that I really am passionate about and what I really want to do. The Guard enriches my life in many ways. I can tell you first and foremost, um, I love serving my community. I love meeting people who make up this community, and those would be also the guard soldiers. I love my team, I love my squad, I love my platoon. Hey. Working the 35 Mike, and then also working warrants and extraditions and records, they do flow pretty seamlessly together. Things I do at work sometimes are a little bit similar. Um, some of those skills and experiences carry over here in, into the guard, and it works the opposite way too. Some of the things that I do here really carry over into my work, but definitely there's differences, and it's a different atmosphere, it's a different mindset, and different people that I come in contact with. So, you know, I have my work life, and I have my personal life, and then I have drill life, and um, they incorporate real well together. Attention! Strike these Army values were really what I was raised on, and I incorporated those things in my life as a kid. And now that I've grown up, I can really say that those things are really the foundation of who I am and what I really, really value. When I put that uniform on, I want people to see those qualities. Some of the strengths that, as a soldier, that you, you have to have, being in this uniform is you, you really gotta have a confidence in the skills that you are trained in, which means that you gotta continually train and uh, continue to hone the skills that you've gone to school for, your job, you gotta know your job. But with that, you gotta have confidence and you gotta have a determination and you gotta have a willingness to be the best that you can be. Most of the soldiers here in my unit are the soldiers I deployed with, and so I can tell you that before we deployed, we were a team, and we worked well with, with each other, and we relied on each other. But definitely after our deployment, we still have that component, and we still have all those things, but it's more of a, I'd say, a closer bond, uh, a family bond. We may only see each other a few days a month, but it's always fresh. My parents have immigrated here to the United States from South Korea and um, you know they would tell me things about when they grew up and a lot of the hardships and it was uh, right after the Korean War. My parents would tell me stories about growing up and seeing soldiers, American soldiers come by or um, you know just giving them like candy. I mean something as so insignificant as that really brings um, you know a significant meaning just to you know a young child. When I deployed and, you know, I was in that turret, in the elements and in the community and in, in that environment, you know, I saw a lot of things that I thought, hmm, maybe this is kind of what they're talking about or, hmm, you know, this kind of describes a little bit about what they may have gone through. Seeing things where people, for example, didn't have water or they were thirsty and you could just tell they wanted water, you know. So I, I just did what I, naturally would do it, just give them water or throw them a bottle of water or um, some snacks that I had. We always had snacks in the truck and even though we couldn't do big things, we did a lot of small things in a great way. As far as my future goes, uh, I feel it's pretty much wide open. I know definitely the guard has 
opened a lot of doors and it's uh, kind of given me a broader horizon. Um, even though I, I kind of knew what I was getting myself into, it's actually in a really positive way allowed me to see further. Um, so I would really be very grateful to have a career in the Guard for as long as I can be in it, retire from it. As far as my civilian life, um, I have aspirations to work on the federal side and to just continue to challenge myself and uh, really make the best of what's left to come.